going on guys? It's Kude here and today we are going to be playing some survivor mode with the fire god elder god team combo and I want to talk about something really quick. Two things. Number one, Strike Force Champion Pack. I made a mistake. Memorial Day is not May 29th. It's May 30th. However, um, I didn't separate the difference between Memorial Day and when the Strike Force discount happened. Also, nice voice crack. The Strike Force discounted Soul Pack came out on May 29th, 2021. And I thought that maybe the Strike Force Diamond Pack uh, with the discount would return this year, May 29th. Unfortunately, it didn't. They instead waited till the actual Memorial Day to post the Strike Force Champion Pack, which is paid. No, no uh, discounts for souls or anything, just straight up paid. And Fire God of King, yet again, is in the shop. Elite Outworld World was limited to 20, and I didn't make a video on this because it's kind of hard to make a whole video on one thing, but the 20 limit did get put back, which means that the last pack that was Elite Spec Ops didn't mean to have no limit for iOS. A lot of people were saying, why is it on iOS that there's no limit? Well, unfortunately, something really unfair happened. They didn't limit it on iOS for the Elite Spec Ops, but they did on Android. And then the next pack later on iOS and Android, it's limited. The developers usually don't talk about the limits. They're kind of like one of those things where like, oh, you're just supposed to understand that this kind of exists and that's just how life goes. Unfortunate. But I just wanted to cover those two things because people were asking about it. Let's have a look at my Faction Wars rewards, actually. I need to get it. So, skip packs. What? Which one is this? Oh yeah, 240. Oh, nice. Strike Force Scorpion. A resell. But gladly, I will take that. Okay, what do we what do we got here? What do we got here? 300 rubies and Vengeful Shinnok. Honestly, it's been so long since I fully grinded Faction Wars. So I'm seeing these numbers and I'm like, oh, yeah, I remember I did that. Because <laughs> I did some last minute gameplay before the Faction Wars season ended. Now, here is our team. Fire God of King. Injustice 2 Raiden and Classic Raiden. And here is our talent preset. We have no brutalized ending on because eh, maybe we'll just save that for the last couple of games. I usually don't change my talent presets all that often because eh, it's like one is usually good enough for most things. Like you want Revenant in certain cases and you don't want it in others. I would say for 12 battles, you actually do want Revenant because with gold teams, it's easy to die. With uh, diamond battles, I have equipment like Jinsei hat on, which make my character um, live no matter what if he's killed off. Kind of just makes the whole point of a Revenant useless when I could just keep this character alive. Wow, he's going to die. But Jinsei hat, of course, as always. Oh dead oh not dead yet <laughs> my burning is an eternal flame all right so let's apply fire let's get the uh, fire stacks going because last battle was mk11 jade i decided not to but i want to this time he is stunned because of injustice 2 raiden boom Oh, oh no. All right, good. We're, we're all good. <laughs> Look at Shao Kahn's animation. It's totally messed up. Ooh, no way, no way, no way. Okay, let's wait for the shield to end. It's, it's taking its time. There we go. That should work, right? <sighs> this is no good. This is no good. Oh, no. He's dead already? Oh, my goodness. Let's use a revive. All right, we're on the Revenant preset. I didn't see that coming, in all honesty. I wish I did, but there's no way to prevent that since he also had, like, 200,000 health, and he would have done that much damage regardless. Even though Liu Kang has, like, 100 health, we're starting with him because look how much he regens. This is the best part about Fire God Liu Kang is his ability to just sit here and regen. By just attacking. We're at four fire stacks already. 
We'll kill off Jason. He'll come back. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> Sonya. Keep trying. Keep trying. Six fire stacks. Seven. And now we have that damage boost. But it only applies to basic attacks, of course. Oh, 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 okay. Jensei Hat saved me. We just did all his health with SP1. Oh my gosh. Nice try, buddy. It's not it's not going to work. Give up now while you still can. Bone shield? Are you crapping me right now? Alright, let's try to use Liu Kang Brutality. Come on, don't tell me we can't get a brutality. Come on, come on. Oh, silly. My burning is an eternal flame. Whatever. I didn't need the brutality anyways. But look how much we regen during that battle. Just an incredible amount. Jensei Hat will work even if you're caught off guard. With MK11 Jade's gear, it's supposed to save her no matter what if she's killed off. But if she's stunned, her her uh, gear does not save her when she dies. But Jensei Hat, no, no matter whether you're stunned or whatever, it'll still save you. And then there you go. Let's see. So let's start regening, getting those fire stacks going. Woo! Stop it. Two fire stacks. Three. Oh, MK11 Jade. I don't like you at all. Let's just keep regening. Ugh. Are you kidding me? All right, let's not take any risk here with MK11 J. Let's just kill her off fair and square without having to use any special attacks or combo enders. Perfect. No. Ah, I was just about to block. Johnny Cage, I thought I had caught you off guard, but I didn't. If this doesn't go... Th okay, thank goodness. Okay. Nice. I do not approve. Our last battles with an Outworld team. Alright. He's got X-Ray. Good thing we're on Fire God Liu Kang. I do not want to die straight away. And it's not going to go through. Alright, considering he has Jensei hat, we're gonna take the risk. Nice. It works out all in the end. And she's gonna use X-ray on me. But, as you guys know, the trick up my sleeve, Revenant and Jensei hat. Boop! Bye-bye. Oh, come on. Resisting is futile. We'll use Classic Raiden just to ensure her demise. <laughs> what? It just got stopped mid-combo. Yeah, this team is just straight up MVP. Like, you can't, you can't, you can't top this team. With Jinsei Hat, at least. You can top this team if the Revenant doesn't go through and you don't have an equipment to revive yourself, like Living Dead. So this guy has Guardian Terminator fully maxed out. I love fighting new characters because I'm tired of fighting the same ones over and over or the same teams. So to have some new teams like this is really nice. All right, let's get this started. He will heal from my fire, which is unfortunato. Good thing, fi Good thing Guardian Terminator got tagged in. I wanted to kill you off because you're quite annoying to deal with. Goodbye. Oh, come on. Goodbye. We'll use SP2. Make his uh, end quite fast. All right, nice. Let's get those fire stacks going so we can get that nice basic attack damage boost. Then, we can kill him off. 
We can kill him off with a brutality if we just get enough fire stacks. <gasps> brutality! You've got to be joking me right now. All right, we're going to tag him with Classic Raiden. I don't think there's a chance that we can do this, guys. Yeah, he's just dead. Dang it. So unfortunately, no brutality from Fire God King. But looking at the game here, we did really well. And we used Fire God King the most. Just as 2 Raiden was our second used. Or most used. So that is going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And yeah, peace out.